Okay, good day to you, mga folks. Uh, let me share to you how to properly calculate and uh, assess the appropriate wire of a branch or feeder load not to exceed the 3% voltage drop maximum allowed by PEC and the NEC codes. Okay, let me just read to you the Philippine Electrical Code provisions, and that's according to the PEC article 2.15. 1.2 a of footnote number two for the conductors for the feeders as defined in article 1.1 sized to prevent the voltage drop exceeding three percent of the farthest outlet of power eating and the lighting loads or combinations of such loads and where the maximum total voltage drop both feeders and run circuits to the farthest outlet does not exceed the five percent same goes to this uh, provision for the conductors for the branch circuit okay this is the one line diagram here and let's take a look at this if you have a feeder of uh, three percent uh, voltage drop okay in this one uh, can uh, subsequent uh, consequently the uh, branch circuit will be at two percent here so this uh, feeder three percent plus the two percent shall uh, not exceed the uh, maximum of 5% allowed by uh, the uh, uh, by our code for both the feeder and the branch circuit so it should be less than 5% or equal to 5% for both combination of volts and if this uh, the branch circuit is uh, 3% the feeder is going to be 2% the same rule will be applied here okay now let's uh, these are the uh, voltage drop uh, formulas that we are going to use uh, in our uh, succeeding calculations okay this one the single phase and the three phase formulas where the k is for the k we're going to use the copper uh, wire here and uh, the k for the copper wire is 12.9 this is a constant one this is a constant value and will be dependent on the temperature change so we have the full load current, the length or the distance from the load to the supply and of course the voltage drop will have to be uh, not to exceed the maximum 3% okay let's okay let's have uh, uh, this table here the single phase uh, we are going to use in our calculation a 3 HP induction motors and uh, it's going to be at 230 volts and we're going to use this 17 amperes uh, the full load current so you have to take note of this so you don't need to come back here the 17 amperes for the 3 HP at the same time we are going to use also a three phase alternating current motors and uh, that one is uh, the 25 HP induction motors and uh, it is uh, 460 volts and we need to get this uh, or take note of this 34 full load amperes of this three phase uh, 25 HP motor okay now this is chapter 9 table 8 the conductor properties this is where we are going to uh, have the reference uh, uh, for all our calculations of the wire size and we are going to use the resistance and the circular mills of uh, how to size the appropriate wire for the uh, uh, our motors not to exceed the three percent voltage drop and we're going to prove it if uh, these are correct our calculations are correct on the table that we have applied the values okay okay let's go to the first uh, calculation uh, examples here we have a 25 hp yeah, this is a three phase induction motors 460 and the FLC according to what we have just read is 34 amperes and the length is 150 and that 150 we convert it to 492 feet and we are going to use the VD this formula here 1.3 times KIL the circular mills over the circular mirrors and uh, and we have to transpose this okay because we're going to use the circular mirrors to size up the wire VD 
to here and the circular mirrors 1.73 KIR divided by the VD allowable okay and we came up with this value for our circular mirrors this 27 0 90 circular mirrors okay take note of this the rule of thumb for selecting the correct wire size in the chapter 9 table 8 after we calculated the circular mirrors is to go next a step higher of your calculated uh, circular mirrors where the 4.740 similars is uh, the next higher which is equivalent to the size uh, of wire of number 4 AWG or this uh, 22 mm squared based on that table okay if we do not have, uh, adhere to that then we will uh, prove if the voltage drop exceeds or below the 3% maximum okay if we let's take a look if we do not follow the next higher uh, value for the R calculated okay we have uh, a 14 mm squared for this uh, number 6 wire which is the uh, the 27.0.9 below with the corresponding 26 to 40 AC mils in the table okay let's apply the voltage trough calculation here if you're going to use that uh, number 6 uh, which is lower next lower and uh, that voltage trough will have a 4 15 pore allowable but the voltage drop in percentage becomes 3.35% so what happens the 3.5% exceeds the 3% maximum allowed by the code so it is non-compliant uh, to the code the maximum allowed by the code so it's a uh, fail so if you follow the next step higher wire size of number four this one number four 22 mm squared which is an equivalent of 21 let's take a look at the voltage drop okay the voltage drop uh, calculated allowable is this uh, 8.9 and what is the voltage drop percentage here that we came up this is the one so 1.9 percent so the remark uh, passed because it does not exceed the three percent maximum allowed by the code look at this okay this one passed so the next higher is the much better once you get the next higher you get the uh, wire or uh, the, the size of wire increases so the voltage drop that uh, you are going to expect is uh, uh, be lower all right let's go to the next example here the wall. we have a 3 hp induction motor a single phase to the 360 hertz and coated copper the ifrc as we have uh, read uh, in our previous uh, table the previous pc 4.34.40 its distance is 300 feet uh, from the supply source to the load of course we have to use uh, we have to adhere to the vd 3 percent maximum uh, okay we'll have to find out uh, two problems here then uh, first to calculate the size of the wire based on its continuous load as per PEC table 3.2.6 B16 75 degrees when the motor starts up which we have not uh, moved the motor yet to 300 uh, feet away from the source the second one is calculate this wire size when it is moved away from the source to about uh, 300 feet okay let's do the first one so the size of wire based on the continuous load when the motor starts up okay we need to uh, multiply it by 121 percent times the FLC which is 17 and we came up with this uh, value of 21.25 we use the 3.5 mm squared based on the PEC 310.2.6 B16 over 75 degree why would, would we have to use this column 75 because this is a motor all the motors so, so what we have just studied should uh, be in the 75 degree column okay this is the wire the 3.5 uh, came over here we start up the motor to 75 degrees 
uh, in between this 20 and 25 you need to as a rule of time you need to get the higher opacity of a uh, wire which is a 25 and that 25 is uh, uh, equivalent or corresponding to a 3.5 mm squared all right okay let's go to the next size of calculations of the wire the motor has been move away 300 feet from the source uh, it should not exceed the 3 percent voltage drop okay let's take a look at this one uh, the VD that we're going to use the formula is 2RIL over 1000 and we have to uh, get the uh, resistance in order to get the size of wire we have to use the resistance in our equation here and that resistance become BD 1000 divided by 217 amperes times 300 feet and we have this resistance ohm per k feet uh, value okay if you go to chapter 9 table 8 DC resistance at 75 selects the next this time it's going to select the next for the R sizing the size of the wire for the R resistance we have to uh, I'll go to select the next lower value of R 0 0.706 from the table and that value and the lower value of uh, 0 0.06 is uh, this uh, 0 0.9 k feet so we have to use the number 6 AW and this uh, 14 mm squared let's analyze and prove so if we have a VD and we fill in all these two times the R I L okay the two the R is 0 0.491 the 17 the 300 feet over 1000 the VD allowable here is this 5 uh, volts and the voltage drop calculated is only 2.1 percent and this one is uh, passing the mark not to exceed the 3% maximum allowable by the code all right so we have just proven everything here and I hope you enjoy watching the okay this is actually the table by the way I forgot the table here uh, this is the table all right let me take a look at it this one we are the uncoated Oh, this is the resistance so we're going to base the uncoated this is an uncoated copper and this is in ohms per key fit the 7.0706 uh, shall uh, we'll go to the next lower and it becomes this one 0 0.09 point nine four nine one which is equivalent to the number six y here that's for the stranded okay so that is uh, where we get this uh, value from this particular example number two all right so i think i have already done all my provisions i mean uh, my uh, video presentations